Okay, hello everybody, Carolyn here. Today I am doing another setting up my binders for new releases video. Kind of gonna be a crazy next couple of months, so you might be seeing a couple of more of these on the channel. Um, so I hope you're excited about them, but I just, I really like setting up my photo card binders on camera because I feel like is a nice introduction to starting like a new collection, even though neither of these groups are like new collections, neither of these things that I'm doing today. Um, but yeah, today we're gonna be setting up for Stray Kids' new album, Audinary, and also Kihan's Voyager, which is his first solo single album, and I'm so excited. So yeah, so let's go ahead and get into both of these. I was gonna set up for Stray Kids earlier, um, however, I didn't know if I wanted to set up for them alone in a video, and then Kihan went ahead and dropped his solo debut news, and I was like, perfect, we'll do those together. So. Yes, um, we'll go ahead and go through the templates really quick and then we will set up the binders. First thing, Stray Kids, we'll start here, has three versions of the album. So these are the two like normal editions and then there's also the Frankenstein version, which is the limited edition. So yes, three versions total again. Um, and then we have the scanning version and the mask off version, which are the two like normal versions this era. Um, we have the photo book, CD, lyrics paper, all that stuff is pretty self-explanatory. Photo card situation this time is pretty typical for JYP, at least the past couple of Stray Kids releases, it's been pretty typical. So we have three photo cards per member, as you can see here, and you get two out of 24 in one of your albums. 24 cards total to collect, which means you need about 12 albums to pull enough cards to trade for everything you need. Doesn't mean you'll pull a full set, but you know what I mean? And there's also an ID photo card. So instead of them being a POV, like for No Easy, it's actually included in the album this time around. So you get one out of eight for those. Um, and yeah, so that's, it's pretty easy. It's like four cards per member. Um, so I am collecting OT8 again this era. I've decided to collect OT8 moving forward from No Easy forward. There's also mini posters, one out of eight for those. I'm not quite sure yet if I want to collect all eight of them because they're like larger inclusions but I'm gonna end up with enough albums to collect all eight of them. So I think it's just a matter of like, if I pull all eight of them, but yes, I mean, they're probably gonna be super cute too. So like, I'll probably end up collecting them, honestly. And then there's stickers. We don't care about stickers here. <laughs> uh, anyways, then there's the pre-order only stuff for Stray Kids. So this time we have trading unit photo cards. So it looks like there is about 24 unit cards total and you get four in one of these little packet things when you pre-order. So I think I am going to collect all of the unit cards for this era again, probably just because, again, because I'm gonna end up with like so many albums that it would be silly for me not to. And I love unit cards. And Stray Kids haven't had unit cards in a while, so this would be a fun opportunity to collect them all. Then we have the folded poster, which, you know, is that. And that is it for like the base um, of Stray Kids. Let me see if there's anything different in the Frankenstein version, but I don't think there is anything different in the Frankenstein version. So this is the Frankenstein version, just to like go through it again. Um, the limited edition comes with character art book and then a pop-up invitation card. So there's only one of each of these. So you really don't need anything more than one Frankenstein version, but yeah, everything else is pretty much the same. Um, just that one limited only um, difference. But like I said, you can just buy one album and that will be sufficient. Moving on to other things this era. <laughs> so there's a lot of pods as always. Stray Kids also announced their like US store, which is brand new. Um, and they are having exclusive signed postcards. So I did on release, pre-order release night, did end up ordering four copies of the album from there. I think I got one of each version and then an extra like, an extra one of those normal editions. Um, I don't remember, I just kind of chose one at random. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I ended up with four of those and then I haven't actually purchased anything else for Stray Kids, but they are doing Target exclusive photo cards this time around. So for the postcards from the US store, I really wanna collect Lino and Chan, obviously. And then I'm not sure what to do about the other two members um, that I'm going to pull. And like, if I don't end up trading for Lino and Chan, you know what I mean? So obviously those two are my priority. And then I'm not sure what to do from there. I already told Katie if I pulled Jisung, 
she can have him <laughs> because that's her bias. So that, and then there's Target exclusive photo cards. So you get one of eight. So I think I want to collect OT8 for the Target cards. And I think that's going to be like my POV project of this era. Obviously there's going to be cute Lino and Chan cards I'm going to want to get later, but I don't actually plan on ordering any albums from Korea because there's Target cards, there's a US store, and frankly, I'm just tired of DHL. <laughs> so I haven't actually ordered albums from anywhere, um, especially with Ki Hyun announcing his solo debut. I have decided to get pops kind of later and not worry about them so much at the beginning. Um, when I first started recollecting Stray Kids, I wanted to go all out for No Easy Era. I didn't realize that I was gonna end up going all out for Lino as well for No Easy Era. I thought it was just gonna be Chan, which is fine, I love Lino to death, like absolutely no regrets there. But um, I, I don't know if I wanna collect every single pop for Lino and Chan moving forward. For Christmas Evil, I collected like a nine pocket page of pops and I'm pretty happy with that. Like I don't feel like I need more pops um, from that era. So I'm kind of just going to play it by ear, but because the Target albums are so accessible and because I'm going to be buying most of my copies from Target anyways, um, for this era, I figured that I would try to collect OT8 for the Target cards and kind of see how that goes. Hopefully we pull Lino and Felix and Hyunjin for the Target cards, but yeah, definitely doing a Target vlog for this. I definitely plan on picking up quite a few, uh, quite a few copies on release day. So look forward to that. But yeah, that's kind of my plan for this era. Um, I thought about joining like a K-Town Go or doing a K-Town Go, but I'm not sure. And K-Town for you pops are so easy to find later anyways. Watch me like jinx myself. I was gonna do sub K too, but they didn't announce sub K pops this era. I don't know what that's about, but <laughs> um, I might look to see if there's another US store um, that's do like Eve Pink or something maybe. I think Eve Pink sometimes does like um, like they buy from another store that has pobs in Korea. So I might do something like that, but yeah. <laughs> um, that's kind of my plan for right now is to pay media mail <laughs> shipping <laughs> for at least right now. I just feel like, I don't know. That's just how I'm feeling for right now. Also, these albums are super bulky and anytime I can buy an album in person, I like don't want to buy it on a Korean website. Like I really just like for NCT, I've been like this forever where I'm like, SM, put the album in Target. Like <laughs> I don't want to pay shipping for NCT anymore if I don't have to, which is very privileged. And I know as an American K-pop fan, I am very privileged for that. DHL is expensive and I would rather not pay it if I don't have to. So that's what I'm going to be doing for this era, I think. Moving on to Kihyun, we have three separate templates because Starship hates me. So Kihyun is releasing his first solo single album, Voyager, and I'm literally so excited. Like, I was just filming a collective haul clip, and in that clip I was like, when Kihyun announced his solo debut, I or when Starship announced it, I guess, I was in the car dealership getting my car worked on and I had three hours to write an entire lab report. So I like brought my computer with me to the car dealership to like, you know, type up the um, the lab report and submit it. Looked at my phone and they had dropped news of Kihan Solo and I literally cried <laughs> in, in the car dealership, literally shed tears around all of these very masculine men. I'm just this poor white girl sitting in, <laughs> dealership crying over a Korean man. I was like, this is so sad. Nobody's going to take me seriously here. <laughs> of course, nobody's going to take me seriously at a car dealership anyways. I mean, have you seen me? Um, but <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, shed tears over this. I'm so excited for Key to release a solo album. He dropped like this like mood teaser video clip yesterday and some teaser photos today. And I'm literally so excited. I literally love him so much and I'm so happy for him and I just want this album to do so well. Like, oh, I know he's like super excited about this and he keeps like posting about it and all the members are super excited. Like Young One was posting the other day because Ki Hyun like wrote some of the lyrics and one of the songs, I just, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Anyways, let's go over stuff in the album. So there's three versions of the album. Um, a lot of this like, is very similar to like, not to always compare, but like to what Wano does. Um, so I'm excited. Um, there's only, there's three photo book versions. So there's the Voyager version, the Somewhere version, and the First Journey version, which I think is funny because like Starship, how can you not give anybody else? Like Wano never has names to his albums. Like he doesn't have like name, version names. And Monsta X hasn't had version names since 
God, I don't even know. The code? Is it the code? I think it's the code. Is the last time we actually got like version names. And Kihyun releases an album and suddenly we're back to like version names. I want this to be a regular thing again. Starship. I want you to start naming all of the albums. Um, it bothers me. It just like screams capitalism when companies say version one, two, three, and four. Like at least pretend like there's like, you know, I don't know. But anyways, we have the three versions, the three CDs, and then just eight photo cards, which I think is really confusing because the Korean description says like different per version, but this is a very different template than like what Monstex and Wano do. So it doesn't show me that there's like 24 cards, for instance, like eight per version. Like it just seems like there's eight cards and also there's three versions. And so I don't really understand if they were going to split them up, like how that was gonna work. You know what I mean? Like, I don't understand. Starship, I don't understand. <laughs> um, there's also three photo stickers. So these are also random. Um, yeah, cool. We have six bookmarks, which I kind of like this ombre effect here. It's kind of cute. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited um, to collect lots of things for Key. And then for the pre-order benefits this time around, you have one of six Polaroid cards, which I was doing an Instagram Live last night, like getting ready to film this video. And um, we decided that they're smaller than like the Drama Rama, or the code, rather, the code like Polaroids that were given in that album. So they're pretty tiny. Um, and then we also have a folded poster, one for each version. So yeah, that's the photo book version of the album. Um, there's also a jewel case version. <laughs> there's a jewel case version announced the same day. Very funny, that jewel case versions are gonna be a thing from now on. <laughs> Watch this next month's decks come back. They're gonna drop the limited edition, the jewel case versions, they're gonna drop it all at the same time, like they're doing for Kihyun. Um, so yeah, so we've got the photo book CD, the photo card, you get one of three photo cards, which is kind of a lot for a solo member jewel case, but I'm happy that there's like at least something to collect, like give me a reason to buy multiple copies of this because I want to support Yuki. So like, love that. Um, there's also a ticket and then a mini folded poster, which look very similar to what Moth Dex did for Rush Hour era, um, for No Limit era. These look the same as those posters. And then we also have a Kino because of course we do. <laughs> we also have a Kino album, so, um, this Kino album comes with a title and credit card, um, the kit, obviously, the little Kino photo cards, and then also a selfie photo card, one of four. There's four Kino cards. Starship is going to jail. Four Kino cards! So I don't know because you can only buy a maximum of two Kinos on um, G Market what I'm going to do for that, but that sounds like a later Carolyn problem. I haven't ordered any of albums yet, but obviously I plan on ordering a lot of copies of this. So um, as for pobs for this era, because you know that I collect full pobs for Monstex and Wano, and of course I'm gonna do the same for Kihyun, like he's literally my other alt, so like, <laughs> you know? There's G Market um, ones. Let me see if I can pull up the listing. I didn't save it, but. So this is the, this is one set of the Starship Square benefits. So these are the message and photo card set. So if you buy like the jewel case alone or the key, uh, does the Kino? Yeah, the Kino comes with pops. So the Kino alone, the jewel case alone, or any of the like versions alone. Or I think if you bought like the set of three too, it also comes with these cards. So if you bought like one jewel case, you'll get one of these. If you buy three jewel cases, you'll get all three of these. Pretty straightforward for Starship. Um, and then let me just double check on that. If you buy like these come with the same pobs. They do. So yeah, if you buy a set, you'll end up with all of these. If you buy like a set of three albums from the photo book version, um, you'll end up with all of those. And then if you buy this special bundle, which has like the photo books and the jewel case together, not sure why there's no Kino in that, but whatever. <laughs> you get um, the extra heart photo card set. So you get this entire extra photo card set if you buy the special bundle. So I'm probably gonna do a set of albums, um, a couple Kinos, and then like this special bundle deal together. And that's probably gonna be my G Market albums because obviously I want all the photo cards, especially heart photo cards set. Like that, those are gonna be so cute. Like I'm so excited. So yeah, there's those. And there's also um, K-Town for you 
pobs so you get one of three photo cards when you buy an album if you buy an entire set of albums you'll get all three pobs and that's all that's been announced so far but i don't trust starship not to like announce lucky draws and like other things for kia and like other pobs and fan sign cards later on so i'm sure there'll be a lot more to add later i guess we'll start with kia because i'm on stex binder is right here so i really debated where i wanted to put kia solo but i figured i would just put them in this binder let me actually set this up in binder mode so i'm gonna put him behind wano literally haven't even started collecting wano yet <laughs> haven't started because my albums haven't come yet it's so sad my um g market ones hopefully will arrive today but it's dhl and so i don't trust them like i have so much to collect for wano and i want to get started so bad um i'll put a like a white divider in between but i'm gonna put Kihan here, I think. And yeah, obviously I plan on collecting all the larger inclusions as well. We're just gonna, we're gonna collect it all because that's how we roll here at the Wanted household. All right, I'm gonna stick a bunch of nine pockets in here. One, because I need some more nine pockets for Wano in here because he's announced like a lot since we set up for him. Um, I did end up buying his Lucky Draws, but I actually haven't, purchased anything outside of like My Music Taste, K-Town, and G-Market for him. I ended up buying most of his pobs on Macari anyways last era, and so I, I don't know. I kind of want to try that this time around and see how it goes. I just don't want like 10,000 copies of the album. Like I already have triple digits amount of albums coming, so <laughs> you know, I'm just kind of like, I don't know. So those are pobs. Mostly pops. Like the album itself isn't gonna be crazy. It's 15 cards total. I made this joke the other night that I was like, we still have to get the last uh, the last three cards from the limited edition they haven't announced yet. <laughs> Watch them announce it though. Everyone on my timeline was like, Carolyn, no! <laughs> Carolyn, no, don't say that. But like, so yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up an eight pattern and a seven pattern. So I'm gonna do the eight um, photo book cards on this page. And then the next page I'll do the seven like Kino slash jewel case photo cards. Um, just because 15 cards I feel like doesn't like match up super well, but it's okay. So I'm, I like the eight pattern look and I like um, seven patterns. So yeah. Also I've been trying to use these like smaller sticky notes. And I like them, they're just not like super sticky because I bought them at the top, the Target like dollar section. So that's why, I'm just trying something else. Also, I literally am obsessed with this concept for Kihyun. Like it's literally perfect. And I wasn't really sure what to expect um, when he announced the solo. Like half of me was like, he's either gonna do like a rock influence song or he's gonna do a ballad. And I was like, I really hope he does like a fun, like he has such amazing vocals and like, I definitely want a ballad on the album to hear like Kihyun in ballad mode because I am a, always been a firm believer that if given the chance, Kihyun would be one of the most popular like OST vocalists in South Korea. 100% believe that. I will never say otherwise. <laughs> I really wanted um, like a an upbeat song for, or a rock song for the title track. And so I'm really happy that we're getting like a pop rock song for the title track. I don't know, I love Kian's vocals, especially like when he does covers of like rock songs and stuff. And I just think it's gonna be such a great way for him to showcase his vocals. Then he can promote the B-side, which is a ballad, <laughs> and become the most popular OST vocalist after Kyun of Super Junior um, in South Korea. So that's my 10 year plan for Kihyun. <laughs> um, I just hear him sing and I'm like, man, I wish that you like were, ugh, he'd be set for life, major bag alert. If if OST um, drama producers get a hold of Kihyun's vocals, like it's over, it's over. All right, so next page I'm gonna do, since I'm doing a seven pattern, I'll do the jewel cases in the middle because there's three of them. And I will do two Kino cards at the top. Actually, I'm gonna do that here. I prefer this seven pattern. And two Kino cards at the bottom. Like I said, I'm just buying two Kinos right now. I don't know if I'll end up buying more Kinos later. Um, 
or what I'm gonna do. Honestly, normally finding one Kihen Kino photo card is kind of difficult. So the fact that I have to find four this time is like stressing me out a little bit, but we're gonna do it. That's an idea, putting the sticky note in here so it doesn't slip around. That's kind of smart. Big brain thoughts, big brain thoughts. It'll make it a little more reflective on camera and you have to stare at the Ultra Pro logo, but hopefully we won't have to do that for very long. I'm definitely, this like last time for Wano, I ordered my unboxing albums through K-Town for you and that was a mistake, honestly, because it drives me crazy that I don't have my albums yet. And it's like, I know it's not a big deal, I'm gonna get them eventually, but when it comes to my ult, I like don't like delays. <laughs> And when it comes to getting things like that, like, I don't know, I feel like y'all can relate, like seeing everyone else get their like album from your ult and you're like, I still have to wait. And it's just like so sad. Like, especially because I did my fan sign with Wano this past Sunday, which funny enough was literally the same time my fan sign with Wano was happening is when Kihan dropped pre-orders. Like he, it was like, hadn't been officially announced yet, but, um, G Market was starting to post the listings and so Mom Bebe were like talking about it and I was like I literally am talking to Wano in like five minutes like <laughs> can you not and then by the time I got off the phone with Wano um the like the listings were up and Starship had like tweeted about it and stuff and so I was just like very overwhelmed um and I was like what's happening um but yeah I'm really sad that I didn't have my obsession albums for my fan sign i really wanted to have them like in the background um and like if i had purchased them from my normal seller they would have arrived like they would have been there for it which is really sad to think about but it wasn't like wano himself got delayed i ordered wano and treasure together because they both had k-town pubs which is another sad thing because i didn't order treasure or photo book versions from anywhere else um and so i was like I don't know, I really wanted my Wano albums and my treasure albums, but the treasure jewel case versions are getting delayed. I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, so we have six Starship square cards. These are the heart cards because I didn't realize there were two sets of pobs at first, which I don't know why, because like, how long have I been collecting Lost X for? <laughs> I'm like, it, are, are you new here, Carolyn? Are you new here? I guess so. Yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do, I had this thought last night at 1 a.m. while I was laying in bed. This is what I think about at 1 a.m. when I'm laying in bed is I think I wanna do the six heart cards like this and then do the K-Town cards because there's three of them. And then I'm sure he's gonna announce like another couple set of cards. So I think I'm gonna do a second page um, and yeah, I'm not applying for the K-Town fan sign. I would like to apply for a fan sign for Key. Um, I'm waiting to see if he does like my music taste or something. But yeah, so I think that's the plan for this. I think that'll look really cute. I know I've been into like the having like, instead of down here, like having them like this. But I don't know, last night I was like, I kind of want to try that and see if I like it. Obviously on this channel, y'all know, we move things around all the time. We reorganize things all the time. So this isn't set in stone at all, but I just wanna try it. Four, but yeah, I was on um, Instagram Live last night writing out these sticky notes and didn't even realize that there were two sets of pubs. But I was like, every time I think that Starship is going too easy on me, they release like more stuff. So um, whether it's Japanese or Korean, I was talking to a friend this morning about it. My, she thinks it's Japanese and I'm like, okay. I think it also could be Japanese. Like I'm, I think that's a good, really good possibility. But yeah, I really thought it was good with Monstax until like May. <laughs> but I don't know. It just seems like a long time without them releasing anything. And I was like, I don't know. Like either like Juhan or Changyun are gonna release like a song or something, which like doesn't really involve me buying. It just involves me streaming, which y'all know I stream anyways. Literally was streaming Obsession before this. We love that for me. Um, it's why my skin has been so clear since Wano's comeback, is because I've been streaming Obsession. So 
Yes, this is the first set. And then the second set, I'm just gonna do, um, maybe I'll just set these up as a six pattern right now on the off basically impossible chance that there are no other pobs. I'm so excited for Keegan. He passed 11,000 pre-orders this morning on K-Town, which is like really crazy. And the fan sign like purchase period isn't even close to being over because normally there's a big jump um, right when the fan sign purchase period ends. And I'm like really excited for him, I'm really happy for him. I really want this to do well. Also, Mon Bebe raised funds for digitals so fast. Like the digital projects, I feel like are still doing like doing super well. So I'm really excited about that. I hope we can get him to chart and like, I don't know, I just, he's so excited about this. And I feel like, I feel like people have been talking about it for a long time, how much they wanted Key to release a solo album. So um, I really hope that he like gets a lot of support and you know, this era because he deserves it and I'm really excited about it. Um, literally Keehan like went from last year uh, not really like having a lot of individual schedules which like maybe that was his choice and that's fine if that's you just didn't want to do anything outside of group stuff because Monstex are so busy like like literally so busy and now he has his show with Changyun which like does really well and he has this solo album coming out and he has like the clothing company he's working with and he's just got like so much going on and he seems really happy about all of it which is really really nice um so yeah i love that all the monsters are like doing so much these days like they've they've grown a lot in south korea the past couple of years during covid because before covid they barely spent any time in Korea besides like promoting albums. Like they were always abroad, like always, <laughs> always in Japan, always in the US, like always abroad. Um, and so now that they're at home more, I just feel like they're doing more, which is like, like in Korea, which is really, really good for them. Um, other things I need, I'm gonna put a four pocket in here for the Polaroid cards because there's six of them. And then I'm gonna get a three, a horizontal three pocket for for the bookmarks so so we have the horizontal three pocket for the bookmarks i thought about labeling them but i don't think i'm going to um it's the four pocket for the polaroids so i'll probably end up doing like fillers for these depending on how big the bookmarks are i was just thinking about like whether or not they would fit in six pockets and i'm too lazy to do the math right now so yeah i've already been filming for 40 minutes but yeah, that's pretty much it for Kihan. Pretty straightforward as of right now, but like I said, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of pobs. Like I said, I will put um, a divider there too. And then we've got the nice Monstex album going in here too. Like, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so for skids, um, we're going to, oh my gosh, this binder. Don't even want how I literally just started like I literally moved Stray Kids to this binder like late last year. It was definitely after I moved. So <laughs> Christmas Evil Pods. Okay, let me put this here. Alright, we have to use a couple brands of sleeves here because I am pretty much out of my Ultra Pro ones. So we're gonna use Titan Shield and Ultra Pro here. Which doesn't really bother me that much. So yeah. So I have five nine pocket pages. Basically, just gonna set them up in eight patterns. Um, I'm gonna go from there. Collecting smaller like US benefits this era or like the US, US benefits. So yeah, I'm really excited that they're finally in Target. Like twice an Itzy have been in Target. And so I've been like, why did JYP not put like Stray Kids in Target? Like I love Itzy, I love twice, y'all know, but um, it's just a matter of like, what, like I get that it's a, like not JYP's call really, like they have to be signed to an American label for it to work. But I was just like, why has JYP not done that for Stray Kids yet? Like, especially after like how much they like blew up last year. Um, but I'm really glad that they did end up doing that for Skids because deserved honestly. And now I get to go to Target and buy Stray Kids albums, which is like incredible. <laughs> Do you hear my neighbor's dog crying? The dog that lived next door, I think, moved out. I think that owner moved out or the dog went somewhere else because I don't, I never hear that dog anymore. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and start putting the cards away. These are like kind of a mess. <laughs> um, but basically I just numbered them. Like obviously we don't know what the sets look like yet. There's still quite a bit of time until the actual comeback happens. So I'm not too stressed over it. I feel like it'll be okay. So I'm just gonna number them for right now. And then we can kind of figure out um, what numbers we associate with what cards later on. Um, I feel like for No Easy too, I didn't even do like the traditional one, two, three, four um, versions. I just put them in whatever order I wanted to. So <laughs> yes, and then of course we have the ID cards. So I think I'm gonna do the three photo card sets first, the ID cards and then the target cards. So let's go ahead and do that. Yes, I feel like we still don't know quite a lot about the Stray Kids comeback, but I'm really excited for them to start dropping teasers and uh, stuff like that. I think it's gonna be really, really fun. Um, I've loved everything that they've released the past couple of eras. I mean, I've never disliked a Stray Kids song, <laughs> to be honest, um, but I'm really excited to see kind of what concept they're going for this time. And I'm just excited for like, they have this huge year planned because they did that like video at the beginning of the year um, of all the things they have planned and they definitely have a lot coming, it seems like. So yeah, it's gonna be a busy year for sure for Stray Kids, but I really am so excited like with how much success they're getting. Um, I'm gonna throw a couple other nine pockets in here as well, just for the unit cards. I'm not gonna label the unit cards, but I do want, um, sleeves for them in here so like i said i'm probably gonna end up collecting these <laughs> um we'll see what kind of what my like pulls are like and if the target albums come up which i think they will because um you got the jyp creator benefits for like itsy and twice's album so i assume it's going to be the same for stray kids um and then also i'm going to put in a three pocket um for the postcards from the american store so yeah we'll see what my polls are like <laughs> i don't know i think if i pull if i can get a combination of like lino chan um and jisung well i don't know i'll probably just keep three i don't know what to do with the fourth one that sounds like a later carolyn problem i don't know but yeah that's basically it i'm really excited to collect for this album um i'm really excited to kind of be a little more casual with it this time around i think the reason like the amount of pops that Stray Kids has are just so stressful. And like I said in another video I did recently, I can't remember which one it was honestly at this moment, but um, if things stress me out this year, I'm just not going to do them and I'm not gonna worry about it. So I don't feel like I need every single Stray Kids pop this time around, but I am definitely excited to collect this album and of course to listen to the album, the most important thing. Um, and yeah that's it for this video thank you so so much for watching i do hope you enjoyed i hope you're excited for both kihyun and stray kids as well let me know in the comment section down below what you plan on collecting um if you're collecting either of those releases or like what release is coming up soon that you're planning on collecting and you have to set up your binder for let me know in the comment section down below and i will see you guys very very soon Bye bye